Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, September 29th, and this is the black man who reads aloud, continuing my journey through the Federal Writers Project. Today, we start with the Alabama slave narratives. I focus on the voice of men who were held in bondage because I have a man's voice, but there were females as well, and maybe I can get a young lady to join me on this journey and she can read the female recollections. Today we are reading the recollections of George Strickland, a 91-year-old man who was interviewed during the years of, between the years of 1936 and 1938 by researchers sent down south sit down south by the federal government by the Workers' Progress Administration, the WPA. George Strickland, Preston Klein was the interviewer. Cohen Shuckin was the greatest thing. George Strickland alert for all of his 91 years but blinking in the bright sunlight as he laid his battered felt hat beside the rocking chair in front of his cabin in Opelika, Opelika, Alabama, as he looked down uh, decades and remembered the times when corn shuckings was the greatest thing. Though only a boy when the war between the states ended, he recalled the days of slavery easily as he retold the story. I was nine years old when us niggas were, were set free and for that time us refuged uh, from Mississippi to Mobile, then to Salem, then to Montgomery, and from there to Uchi, near Columbus, Georgia, wa where we stayed till us was freed. My mommy and daddy come from Mississippi first. They was Cleveland and Eve Strickland, and there was four, four of us children, William, Sam, Missouri, and me. Us quarters had dirt and f for floors and floors and was in two long rows with a street between. On the east side of the settlement was the barns and shops and such like. The beds were boxed up and nailed uh, to the walls, then they was filled with wild pine straw. They fed us little niggas and wood troughs made of poplar. Did you hear that? They fed us little niggas in wood troughs made of poplar, just like you feed a hog. The cook in the big house cooked pots of greens and po uh, and, and pot uh, and po and po po pot liquor and uh, and all the troughs. All of us uh, all, all all ate uh, with, with with mussel shells or with hands or gourds. Our, our women's folks would bite down uh, bow uh, would bow down the gourds to keep them from uh, from being uh, being bitter. Us has had two acre plaster that used to would turn uh, in the fall and plant it, it in turnips. I clare for goodness, they, they grow nearly as big as a gallon bucket. They give us clothes, uh, clothes every Saturday night and, and winter clothes had some cow hair in them to make, to make, them, uh, to make them warm. Old Master John Strickland was a circuit preacher, and him and uh, Miss Polly lived up in the big house. The logs were sewed with and split and lined on each side. The logs stood on the sides and didn't lay flat. The children were Mary, Laura, Sally, uh, Wally, George, and Lugin. When old Massa went off to preach, the overseer was mean and whipped the niggas and was so bad, Mrs. run him off. They had a hundred, uh, about a hundred slaves, and, and and would wake them up by beating a big piece of steel uh, iron uh, with a long a piece of steel. The the well didn't have no windlass, but but had a lever with a bucket fastened to one end of it, and, and we'd hold on the other end, dip the bucket in the water. When they whipped the niggas, they, they would tie them to a tree and whip them good. 
when they were sold, they would put them in a, a, a up on a stand or a block, a, a, as they called them, and then they would roll up their sleeves to see their muscles. Then they uh, and, and then they bent on them and and, buy, and brought them for about one thousand to for, to. $1,500 a piece. So us traveled in ox carts and, and I first read, uh, read on a stage when I went to Yuchi. When slaves would be very over bad, they, they would chain them out all night. You sure had to stay at home and work. Our church was nearby and us sat next to the uh, to, to the, to, to the, the, the dough. Mr. S called up all the little niggas and, and talked to them and, and, and had prayer. The, yup, the, the others uh, had practiced a prayer meeting one, uh, once, once a week. The women folks had a big time quilting with, with somebody playing on the old gauze with horse strings called Old, old God Horsehair Dance. Corn shucking was the greatest thing of all. Old master took a jug of lick around and, and got him tight and, and, and when they got all four they they would hoist him up uh, up and down and tow him around and holler. Then the fun started and they would play the old gourd and, and horse hair dance. The, uh, uh, then the uh, hand saw and, and case knife. They they would they would run. Uh, they could run. The, uh, they they hang up and down and the saw to change the tunes and, and, and the leader was on top of the pile of corn singing whilst all the uh, others would follow. Us children was asleep then, but us had our good times hiding the switch and playing hand over ball. They show, they, they, they show scared us nearly in the wild fits of raw hide and bloody bones. I never uh, took an oath near touch nothing belong did nothing that didn't didn't belong to me in all my life. Our medicine was Jerusalem oak seed and, and was beat up to give to give ch give the children for worms. On Sunday mornings they they give us bis biscuits uh, for breakfast, which was so rad that they would that we would try to beat beat the, uh, the the others out of out of them. Once they piled everything on wagons and and, and, uh, and put us all put us all little niggas on top us rations like uh, coffee meal meat and, and most everything was uh, uh, was keyed o over wild sheets then they took us off and and, and, and us stayed uh, stayed uh, tree uh, days and nights old master took one of the one of the fellas with him to be on top of uh, the front line to keep to keep off the engine so as children's believes the battle of Atlanta was the worst thing that I'd ever seen. All the houses for a fur piece just shucked from the big guns. The Yankees camped in a big hundred acre field close by. They rushed up to the house, kicked, that, uh, kicked the gate down, took Mrs. Trunk out and, and, and busted open hunting, hunting money. But they found none, so they set fire to the house and, and, uh, and that's it. And what and, and what did the horses? The niggas couldn't tell him, and and, and, and then they burnt the house down. After that, old massa tell us uh, us is free uh, from him, but needn't leave if we didn't want to go, but but could stay on with him, and he treat us right uh, and give us half of what he, of what us made. In the years I, I, after I married Josephine Bedell, and us had uh, George Philip Brenza Eldred the baby. May, Willie, and Lila. I, I got some grandchildren too, but I can't think of their names. Here's was the plan. H hit was the plan of God to free us niggas, not Abraham Lincoln's. I, I've always tried to live under the correction of the Lord. It's my duty to try to do so. That's the story, the recollections of George Strickland from Apelika, Alabama, 91 years old. Have a great day. Thank you.